Good day everyone. So this would be our last topic for this course. Module 7, Human Resource Department. As what we have discussed previously, it is the functional area in a hotel with the responsibility to assist managers in other departments with human resource concerns. That includes recruitment, selection, orientation, training, compensation, and other special tasks. In the hospitality industry, uh, one of the greatest difficulties is the employee retention and satisfaction. The reputation of the business or the hotel, it may mix or break in the hospitality industry. And with the customer services they offer, and especially to the employees. Okay, so it could be that the employees who will cause that um, breaks or who will cause chaos in your operation in the hotel. So, HR department or the human resource department, involving from the administrative departments will lead to the transactional in the HR activities like mga record keeping, kanang payroll, um, employee benefits in the administration, and other benefits that is entitled for the employee. Okay, so for today, this would be our learning outcomes. So first, understand the organizational matrix in human resource department. Second, understand the process in recruiting, selecting, and hiring personnel in the hotel. Third, understand the employee discipline imposed by the hotel. Okay, so human resource, these are the basic functions of the human resource. So first, recruitment. Okay, so from the word itself, recruitment. So mag-hire sila, oh, I'm sorry, dili, right word ang hire. Um, select or mag-post sila if na ay vacancy sa ilang hotel. And this is a vital task for HR department because um, it determines kung unsa nga klase sa tao ang mutrabaho sa ilang company. Naaba sila skills, sakto ba ang ilang knowledge and skills for the specific job na gipangita sa Osaka company or a hotel. And suitable ba sila ang nga position? Okay? So, to accomplish this one, the HR department need to develop and execute quality recruitment strategy to ensure that the, record, that the recruitment meets all the affirmation actions commitments. Okay? And then the second one is the compensation and benefits. So, it would be the HR manager who will need to establish strategic compensation plans um, ensuring wages and reward programs that are administered, administered equally throughout the employee or the workforce of the hotel. Okay, so the HR will make a strategic plan to uh, makahata compensation and benefit to the employee and at the same time, they need to provide employee benefit options like kind of mga health insurance, mga retirement planning, um, mga life insurance, or even ganit mga medical insurances. Diba? And then the third one is the employee relations. Okay, so the HR department is also responsible for investigating and solving employee complaints, mga conflicts and concerns. Many possible issues might arise in a company. Okay, kaya di man ginatumali kaya na kaya na mga different attitude ang mga employee. So, Dapat kita on gina siya sa HR department. Okay? Dapat yun makaibaw sila kung unsa ang mga different na mga attitude so that makaibaw po sila unsa ang ilang strategy nga himuan, himuon nga so that ang mga employee is magkasinabot. Okay? Walay pagdautay. Like na mo hat mahitabo mga gina sa usa company nga naag yung pagdaot-daot sis lahi po ng agenda sa usa ka employee. Like gusto siya nga mutaas dayon. Okay? So makimutamak na lang siya sa iyang isig ka tao or isig ka trabahante. Okay, which is very wrong. So, dapat yun, kita on sa HR department who are those people nga, who are those kanang people nga really working yun, nga <clears throat> dili lang mo, mo, mo himo o mga, uh, mga dautan. Okay? So, for example, 
uh, there is an employee who is not satisfied with this performance assessment result and he will seek for revision. If this kind of circumstances will happen, then the HR department needs to research on, the is on this issue and solve the problem by negotiating with his superior. Okay, since ang issue ani is ang superior man, okay, so ang human resource department will conduct investigation and possible nga i-atubang silang duha. Okay, magsuriya silang duha. Nga nung mo na siya result sa assessment para clear po sa employee. Okay, and then the fourth one is the training and development. So, through effective training, employees could enhance their knowledge, skills, and work abilities so that they can improve their job performance. Human Resource Department conduct analysis to decide what training is necessary to improve performance and productivity. Okay, so one of the purpose of assessment is to determine kung asa ang hinay, kung asa dilit na legible ang osa ka employee. Okay, so once nga ma-determine nila nga hinay ang osa ka employee ana nga certain nga job, so mo na siya nga i-advise nilang employee nga mukadak silang training so that for self development lang pud na siya sa ka employee. Okay? And then the last one is the work safety. So when we say work safety, so literally this in this means nga safety sa osa ka employee nga nagtrabaho ana nga lugar. Okay? The HR department needs to ensure that every staff working in a is every staff is working in a safe environment. It is their obligation to research and develop safety policies for the company that is in compliance with state and federal laws and regulation. Um, they need to identify unsafe conditions and make clear notice on potential dangerous matters such as mga dangerous equipment, mga chemical drugs, radioactive substances, and others. Okay? So, it is very important yun nga sa gitrabahuan na agay mga signages, especially if kanang nga area is delikado gina siya for the employee para ma-aware ang usa ka employee nga delikado na ina siya. Okay? So, those are the human resource function. And then now let us proceed to the organizational matrix of human resource department. Okay, so, so who does human resource report to? Okay, so as you all know, human resource is one of the functional department, a functional department in a hotel. So the human resource department will report directly to the CEO or the COO of the company. And also, the structure of HR departments will depend on the size of the company or the hotel. It should be that the company and the speed of the change within your industry and whether or not the responsibility of HR source internally or externally. Okay, regardless of the size of your total, the very basic level and the most effective way of organizing the structure of a HR team is to have an individual nga na as like different nga mga responsibility or each has a specialized on key human resource function. Okay? For instance, one person or team focuses on training and development. Another on issues that involve monetary transactions like mga salaries, mga compensations, mga benefits, and others. Okay, so muna siya ang pag-create sa organizational matrix sa human resource uh, department. Okay. So, mauto siya kung gihatag ninyo nga example. Okay, let us now proceed. Okay, so this is an example of an organizational matrix. So, this is just a simple organizational chart of a human resource department. Okay, so just like what I have said, it is headed by the CEO. And then next to the CEO is the HR director, in which the HR director will report directly to the CEO. 
Okay, so HR director are responsible for the annual budgets and decision on buying of the kind of mga kailangan, kinahanglan bito sa human resource like mga bagong software, um, systems, or even akan ng pag-negotiate pag nila sa <coughs> laing ng company. So, ang HR director are responsible, Anna. Okay, and then if the HR director is not available or more on meetings malang na siya sa <clears throat> kanang CEO, then it would be the assistant director na ang more relay sa mga messages, uh, siya na ang personally mukita sa kada, kada department, kada sub department kung unsan na nahita bo. Okay, and other paperwork nga kailangan for their department. And then one, ang usa sa sub department is the recruiting manager. Okay, so in this sub department, it involves kanang mga job posting if na ay vacant position, applicant sourcing, <coughs> excuse me, interview arranging, and applicant choosing. Okay? Mauna siya. And then again, the recruiting manager will report to the HR director kung unsay nangahitabo, okay, sa ilahang department. Then recruiter, so recruiter um, specializes in the hiring and selection for open requisitions that the organization is hiring for from job seekers who applied for a position through a career site <clears throat> and applicant tracking system. So, most commonly work with candidates and hiring managers. So, basically, the recruiter siya gid ang mutrack kung kisa to ang mga applicant, mga qualified nga applicant, or kisa to ang mga nagpas o mga application form through the system. Okay? Muna siya ang trabaho sa recruiter. And then, for compensation and benefit managers, so in this uh, sub-department, <coughs> in this section, um, their rules and responsibility involves job evaluation, attendance checking, mga salary policy, uh, administration, mga insurances, mga bonus managing. Okay? So, this role, is responsible for managing benefit plans. Nag-include na siya sa mga health insurances, mga dental, vision, and other programs like mga employee assistance programs and tuition reimbursement. <coughs> okay? And then the third one is the employee relations manager. So, the rules and responsibility include strategic planning, mga dispute resolutions, mga contract negotiations, and then advisory services. <clears throat> and then the next one is the training and development manager. Okay, so basically from the word itself, they are responsible for training program, mga leadership, leadership training, mga promotion policy. And it would be handled by the trainer. So knowledgeable kay siya ang specific a job, kanang at trabaho, and then they, they are the one who will train those mga newly employed sa usaka company. Okay. So, sila ang mag-training sa mga newly hired ng mga employee. And then, the last one is the workforce safety and manager. Okay? So, they are responsible for securing the area. Okay? The emergency preparedness, the facility inspection. Okay? So, Simple na siyang organizational chart. There are other certain nga mga employee or other nga mga manpower who are involved in this one. Pero kanila akong gipili since more specific naman siya. Kaya na-include mga diri kung unsa ang mga function sa <clears throat> human resource. Okay, now let's proceed to recruitment, selection, and hiring. Okay, so this is very important job of the human resource. The process kung saan nila pag-hire, kung, kung <clears throat> new employees sa, sa ilahang company or sa hotel. Now, let us first discuss the recruitment. Okay? So, basically, um, the activities involved in the recruitment um, is designed to <clears throat> attract qualified applicants for the hotel's vacant management and non-management position. Uh, recruitment, this is very vital task for HR department because, again, it will determine kung unsa nga klase sa tawo ang hire 
if the certain applicant is na ba siya enough na skills, so tabol ba siya for ano nga position, and in doing so, it is very important that the HR department will develop and execute quality in creating the recruitment strategies to ensure that the recruitment meets all the affirmative actions or commitments, okay? So, there are two types of recruitment. So, first is internal recruiting and second is external recruiting. Okay, so, when we say internal recruiting, so these are the tactics used to identify and attract staff members who are currently employed at the hotel for vacancy, which represents promotions or transfer to other positions. Okay, so mana siya pasabot sa internal recruiting. So the hotel hired a employee or employed na sa usah isa ilahang company for a vacant position, especially if for promotions na or higher na ng job title compared sa ihang present ka job title. For example, house house helper lang siya, okay, but na vacant ang housekeeping manager, okay, so it would be his or her chances na to 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 be promoted okay so mo apply siya ato okay and then dawaton siya sa human resource department okay must must pabor siya to the to the company or to the hotel since the employee or the applicant is known naman diba kailan naman sila kung kung saan characteristics what kind of employee siya Diba? So, pabor kayo siya sa advantage kayo siya sa hotel. The second one is the external recruiting. So, this is the tactic <clears throat> designed to attract person who are not current in hotel employees for positions at a property. Okay? So, external recruiting, mo na siya nga um, accepting applications outside from your company or person nga dili involved sa inyong company or sa hotel. Okay, so mao na siya. So, in doing the extra recruiting, na siya yung different tactics or ways on how to do this one. So, it could be through internet job posting, through student job affairs, through employment, through recruiting, or even posting a wanted sign. Okay, to those specific areas na di-allow lang. Okay? And then after... After doing the tap, the two tactics, or pwede po ng company ni himo internal tactics or external tactics could be both. Then na na yung mga applicants, then it would be the time for the selection process na. Okay, so selection it is the process of evaluating job applicants to determine those most qualified for and likely to be successful in the vacant position. Okay, so in here, um kita on na nila o kisa to ang mga applicants. Um, they're going to evaluate if that certain applicants is suitable for the job. And then, nakita sab nila ang mga experiences kung what kind of employee he or she in his previous company came on na ilang kitaon. And also, in selection, natin gitawag ng warm body syndrome. When we say one but warm body syndrome, <clears throat> it is often used but an effective selection tactic which involves hiring anyone who applies for a vacant position without regard to their qualifications for the job. Okay, basically, kuan lang, gidawat lang na nila. It's because feeling nila qualified na siya. But in reality, based on the paper presented, based sa iyahang mga background, nga gisubmit or mga requirements nga gisubmit, hindi siya qualified for the job. Pero na ay something niya nga gi-hire siya sa usa ka company kay naing ana mo na siya gitawag nga warm body syndrome okay okay so in doing the evaluating process in the selection process these are the sources okay these are the sources nga ilaha kita on if the certain applicant is qualified so dili na kita ng application form unsa iya hang mga experiences sa pang previous job baka sa tulad sa application form o sa mga training ay ang giapilan and also makita nila uh, mabasa na nila or makapredict na sila what kind of person na siya nga applicant since mo conduct naman sila og employment interview okay so in in the employment interview it could be job related 
or personal. Muna siya usually good nga himo on during the interview. So, the... Okay, so the HR department would ask certain questions regarding on the job and regarding all the experiences nga ayahang mga experience and then mga personal questions afterwards. And then aside from that interview, na po mga employment test. Okay, na po yung mga certain test. And then, ikitaon po nila dito kinsay lang mga references, kinsay lang recommend niya. And also, aside from all those things, <clears throat> agap na ay physical exams and drug tests. Okay? So, muna siya process and selection. And then, if naana sila na select nga qualified nga applicant, then it will be the time for the orientation. Okay? So, in orientation, maghatag ng mga o mga basic information about the hotel and then other information needed sa usa ka bag-ong nga employee. Okay? So, the goal of the orientation includes uh, to reduce anxiety, since bago pa lang siya, nasa mga doubts, and then to improve morale and to reduce turnover, <clears throat> to provide consistency, and to develop realistic expectations. Okay? So, in orientation, kung unsa to yung mga nahon-nahonaan, makiyoy na alin na time, kay maghatag naman ang mga information o orientation ng ilaang company nga naka-hire sa iyaha. Okay? So, the topics... The general topics included in the orientation are this one. Okay, so hotel interview. This would include, overview, I'm sorry. This would include the mission statement, the emphasis, the goal service, and the teamwork. Okay, so very important kayo na sa Osaka company na sa newly employed nga personnel, <clears throat> newly employed or newly employed nga, nga personnel, iparealize or ipaanalyze sa company nga niya kung unsa ang mission statement, kung unsa ang goal sa company, mauni kailangan ni achieve sa company. Okay, very important kayo na. Since part man siya sa organization, part na mo siya sa company, part na mo siya sa family. Okay, so dapat na siya contribution, Ana. Mabito nga hire siya. Mabito nga na ata ng work because you're, you're going to be part of that process na ma-achieve ang goal sa Osaka company or sa Osaka hotel. Okay? And then, review of important policies and procedures, mga detailed risk discussion, kung sa nga mga compensation and benefits, and then, accident or safety prevention corners, mga employee or union relations, mga physical facility, including tours, and then, other topics priority to that. Okay? So, mga na siya. And then, let me say compensation. Di ba ako na naingon dito nga sa orientation? <clears throat> appeal ang compensation. Okay, so when we say compensation, these are the all financial and non-financial rewards given to the management and non-management employees in return for the work they do for the hotel. It should be that the HR manager will establish strategic compensation plans by ensure that ang wage is right for a certain employee. Okay, kung unsa ang gihatag nila nga rate sa usa ka employee dapat si in gapon sa bag or naabakaha sila if na mo ni mga category category if bago lang ka na if probation for 6 months if improving ang iyang trabaho makakita kag maayo ang trabaho then another ko ana po siya mataas-taas na po ang iyang level okay mo na siya usually sa awang company then compensation salary okay so compensation salary uh, it could be calculated weekly, depending on the company, monthly, annual rate, rather or even rather than an hour, hourly rate. Pero nagya po yung hourly rate, pero ang paghatag na sa salary is 15.30 or nagali uban once a month. Okay, depending na siya sa company o depending na siya sa masabutan o depending na siya sa contract na mapermahan niyo. And then, compensation has three factors nga ma-determine kung fair ang compensation. First, what other employers trying to attract the same applicants? Okay, so kita na siya. What employees working in different jobs within the hotel are paid? What other employees working in the same position in the hotel are paid? Okay, so i-balance. You have to, the the human resource will need to balance. Okay, basta hindi ay o na-hired siya, karun, yung mabali na siya sa pikas nga, Nga, nga company since mas higher ang iyang pay, mas higher ang iyang swildo dito, ba? So, kitaon ka po na sa human resource kung pila ang 
swildo kung unsa ang mga benefits nga gi-offer dito sa Picas nga company and then unsay mga benefits nga mahatag okay kay of course dili easy ang pag dili easy ang process in doing the, the the hiring in doing the the hiring of the newly hired hiring of the employee dili sayon ang process but mo na nga dapat before doing so um dapat nakabutang na tanan uh, nakaplan na tanan okay kung unsa ang mga benefits nga ihatag kung unsa pila ang sweldo nga ihatag kung sa mga conditions di ba we have also so-called French benefits. So, this is an indirect financial compensation that includes employer-provided rewards and services other than wages and salaries. So, aside from the salaries, um, there are certain nga mga rewards kay hatag sa employer. So, muna siya gitawag ng French benefits. And then, compensation French benefits includes mga paid leave benefits, mga unpaid leave benefits, mga life insurances, mga medical, dental, and then retirement benefits. Okay? So, in the orientation also, after the orientation, there is an induction. And it will happen. So, induction, this is the process of informing new employees about matters related to the department, which will they work. So, after the orientation, ipasa na siya dito sa ilahang nga department kaya't gagi applyan So, muna siya induction. Okay? And then, apoy employee handbook. So, all the policies and procedures related to the employment or related to the employment of the hotel or related to the hotel na nakasuwat na anak employee handbook. Okay? So, after the orientation, mukandak na of training. Okay? So, new and experienced workers alike need ginasila of training. Okay? It could be for the initial training, professional development, or training to keep up new and revised procedures or technology. Okay, so even if nana siya experience same ex same same work, okay. For example, front desk in charge siya sa ABC hotel, and then apply siya sa inyong hang hotel since sa atas man inyong hang swildo. Same process, um, same nature of work lang, but it doesn't mean yari na siya mo training, di ba? So kinahalan kaya po siya training since lahi lahi man ang process or lahi lahi man ang work ethics sa osa sa matag company okay so the new employee will need to to do trainings okay because through effective training employees could enhance their knowledge mampod okay so bisag na na siya ana nga knowledge pero pag abot da hay sa pikas nga company wa sa kay baw ato di ba so mo na siya mo na siya ang importante sa training okay so, mo siya ang process for recruiting, selecting, orientation, and training. Now, let us proceed to the importance of human resource uh, department. Okay? So, okay. So, HR department is uh, very important in the organization to get more a powerful and develop itself to be the standard and success one. HRM plays an important role in assuring employee satisfaction, improving performance and productivity. This can further an organization's competitive advantage and directly contribute to the organization's success. If <clears throat> successful ang HR department, successful ang competitive advantage nila and then it will succeed, di ba? Okay. So, when an organization start to vision their business, the first priority is to hire competent workforce means right person on the right job. Okay, so, after that, this manpower decide about tangible and intangible resources Asa na nila kuha on? Kung saan nila pagkuha? How to manage efficiently? And what modification required? Okay? And then why HRM is important for organization today? Because today, uh, to make HR into a competitive advantage, there are three competitive challenges. Okay, so before you're going to determine kung unsa ang competitive advantage sa inyong organization or sa inyong hotel, um, 
you need to identify first kung unsa ang mga competitive challenges. Okay? So first, the challenge of sustainability. Second, the global challenge and third, the technology cha challenge. Okay? So when we say the challenge of sustainability, there are many different type of companies or organization to be operated in the world and also competed each other to gain competitive advantage and also sustainable. So they try to implement many strategies to develop their HR. Among, the, among them, sustainability is the main part that can be influenced and encouraged to reach organizational goal. Anyway, they also take action immediately to introduce orientation, um, prepare guide, uh, provide high quality products and services. Okay, so the next challenge is the global challenge. Increasingly, organization finds way to survive. They must cooperate with the organizations around the world. Companies must defend their domestic markets from foreign competitors and broader the scope to encompass global market in order to reach the goal of the organization or the companies. HRM play the important role to run the business and make the good business environment to create smoothly work and also compete with others to competitive advantage. Okay, so Mona siya ang global challenge. Now, let's proceed to the third one, technology challenge. Okay, so this challenge is also very important that companies should be considered and proper prepare strategic plan to update it on time and saving the cost. Also, new technology change in basic skill requirement and work roles. The computers allow the creation of different products to meet market demands simply by reprogramming the computer as a result of labor, material, handler, operator, assembler, maybe merge into one position. So in conclusion, an effective HRM allows organization to address human resource issues strategically. This helps the workforce deliver quality health services despite internal and external challenges to the organization. Overall, it attracts and retains competent employees, assists employees, and managers. Okay? So that is the importance of human resource management. Okay? So human resource management will not just focus internally, but also externally. They must be prepared for whatever challenges an organization may face in the future. They must ensure that the standards imposed by the organizations are being met, uh, employees are compensated well and not being abused. In doing so, employees will do their job accordingly that would result in achieving the company's goal and objective. Okay, so mato siya ang importance sa human resource. Now let us proceed to the employee discipline. So, the aim of discipline is... <clears throat> To have a positive discipline na kailangan ma-achieve sa Osaka Company. We also have to examine kung unsa ang steps nga na-involve in the disciplinary process and how to deal with this discipline. We all have different impressions of what is meant by the term discipline. Diba? Kaysa pagkabata, naka-experience mga ginta nga gipanish na sa ato ang parents nga naatay na himo nga sayo. So, Bisa na kaibaw ka, gihi mo kaya po na siya nimo. Nakaibaw mo ka nga sayop to siya. Okay? So, tingod siguro kay, kay nagunaw na kang adi siguro to may ni mama. Adi siguro to may ni papa. So, imo kaya po na siya nahibawan. But, naapoy mga times, nga dili ka koreas ka sayop to imong gibuhat. Okay? So, on this occasion, kung nahibawan ka sa imong parents, na disciplinary action yung gihi mo sa imong ha. Para dilit na na imo otrokon. Okay, so this is similar way in the organization's discipline. Okay, so organization's discipline refers to the state of employee's self-control and effectiveness in his work. It indicates the development of kanang genuine 
teamwork. Okay? So, basically, discipline, nag-imply na siya, o gumawa siya, state of order in an organization, and also, it means na a proper appreciation of the superior subordinate relationship. So, the willing cooperation for the observance of the role of the organizations constitute the essence of the discipline. So, we have to consider that discipline, it is a positive, nga positive ang meaning anak niya. Uh, training of mind that develops self-control, character, orderliness, and efficiency. It is also means punishment. So, aside from all those things, na, there is also another meaning for discipline, which is punishment. But, there is a general impression that obedience to rules and punishment for the breach constitutes the main aspects of the discipline in the organization. So, cooperation for and of the absence of the rules of the regulation constitutes of discipline. Okay? So, basically, discipline. Okay? So, muna siya himoon, muna siya i-impose sa usa ka company so that the employees will know kung sa ilang mga limitations towards the work. Okay? Since na na may orientation, they are being oriented na kung sa mga rules and policies sa usa ka company, sa ilang gitrabaho ng company, then it would be the role of the employee to abide the rules and regulations imposed by the company. Diba? Okay. So, employee discipline is the backbone of healthy industrial relations. Maugin na siya. So, once an employee madiscipline na siya, so the relationship with, between the, the, the manager or the kind of mga head, ang mga nagda sa mga tao, is healthy ang relationship. So the promotion and maintenance of employee discipline is essential for smooth functioning of the organization. So employee morale and industrial peace are defin definitely linked with the with the with the proper maintenance of a discipline. Okay, so disciplinary action can also help the employee to become more effective. The action of one person can affect others in the group. Okay, so once can I employing a dilemma follow or na wal na follow sa rules and regulations sa usa ka company, makapik to gina siya sa operations. Okay? For example, um, nayo sa katrabahante, supposedly karon ang yahang shift and in BC ka ayong hotel, but ni absent siya. Without informing and, and in advance, so sa may mahitabo. Okay? So, the manager, matagbo siya pangita kung isa ang yang ipuli atong ni absent. And, Basically, if wala siya makitaan, so maapiktuhan ang operations. Uh, the pa possible will happen if ang restaurant na siya is madelay ang service. Diba? Madugay ang food. If na mo request o pagkaon, dugay ang response. Okay? So, wala siya mga hitabo. So, so, once nga hitabo na siya, then lagi yung mga disciplinary action nga himuan ang, 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 ang hotel or ang company. Para ma-aware ang employee nga dili mao ang gibuhat do kay bao siya ang dili mao ang gibuhat but still necessary na siya nga himuan sa usa ka company so that makaibaw po ng company unsa yung reason nga ni absence siya okay makaibaw sila kung unsa nga type of punishment ang ilang gihimo ihimuon para aton nga certain nga employee okay so employee discipline okay so employee discipline this is an orderly conduct by an employee in an expected manner. Uh, it is the force or fear that deters an individual or a group from doing things that are detrimental to the accomplishment of the group objectives. In other words, uh, discipline is an orderly discipline. Okay? Uh, it is conducted by the member of the organization who adhere its rules and regulation because they desire to cooperate harmoniously in the forwarding end of the organization. In, when we say good discipline means that employees are willing to abide by the company rules and executive orders and behave in the desired fashion. Okay? So, discipline implies the absence of <clears throat> chaos, irregularity, and confusion in the behavior of a worker. Okay? So, muna to siya akong giingon. If the employees are willing to abide by the rules and regulations imposed by the company or the hotel, well, wala the case na may tabo. Wala irregularity, wala confusion. 
between the co-employee. And also, the working environment is very smooth and healthy. So, violation of the rules and regulation procedures and norms is considered as misconduct. That is, which is inconsistent with the fulfillment of the express and implied condition. So it should be that every organization wants its employees' behavior to be in conformity with the required system, which it has been prescribed in order to achieve the organizational goals. Okay, so in order to achieve this one, of course, Again, the employee must abide to the organization's rules and response, rules and regulations. <clears throat> Para dili siya mamiskanda. Okay, dili siya makaka-receive ng mga punishment, dili siya makaka-receive ng mga suspension. Okay, so encourage employees to behave work sensitivity and at work. Okay, so aside from uh, giving punishment, or misconduct to the employee na nakasala, well, uh, you will, the company also or the HR department also will give encouragement to the employee so that he will be aware na nilimaw niyang kibuhat. And also, dilit na na niya buhat ang susunod. Okay? And then, employee dis discipline na siya doon ka concept. It could be in a positive way, discipline, or it could be in a negative way of disciplining. So when we say positive discipline, um, <clears throat> it could be in a principles of positive motivation. This can be achieved when the management applies the, positive of, the principles of positive motivation along with appropriate leadership. Okay, so positive discipline, also known as Cooperative discipline or determinative discipline. This involves a uh, creation of an atmosphere in the organization whereby employees are willing to to abide or to abide the rules and regulations imposed in a, in the organization. Even if na ay mga certain nga rules and regulations kag imposed sa usa ka company or sa hotel, it does not restrict the individual. Okay, it doesn't restrict them from voicing out kung sa ilang mga opinion. It doesn't restrict them from associating with other um, employee from the other company. Okay, so nalay mga certain nga mga limitations. Okay, and then when we say negative discipline, it is also known as punitive or corrective discipline. So it is under penalties or punishment that are used to force workers to obey rules and regulations. The objective for this discipline is to ensure that employees do not violate the rules and regulation. Uh, negative disciplinary action involves kind of mga techniques such as kind of mga fines, diba? um, kind of mga reprimand, mga demotions, mga layoff or i transfer sa laing na department. Okay, muna siya. And also negative discipline, require po na siyang regular monitoring which is cost ka ayo siya og time. Mohatag mo mo render ka ayo og dako nga time. But worth it man sad siya since the company will able to know mo yun, what kind of punishment ang ilang hatag ng anang employee. Okay, kaya di magin put pwede ang company mo mahatag lang ana sila nga punishment ana nga sa employee without even enough proof, without even um moto enough nga proof. Kay sila man pud ang mabalikan ana, di ba? Sila man pud ang mabawasan sa dole, di ba? Kay what if gi mo lang siya gitanggal kay nagchismis siya diha. Okay? So na magya pay mga rights ang mga employee. Okay? So before doing a Discipline, so makandag niya po na siya process, makandag na siya investigations, who are those involved, kaya siya witness, okay? Next is, the kind of punishment a company will give to the employee. 
it first it could be minor punishment second it could be major punishment an example of minor punishment are this one first oral reprimand so when we say oral reprimand um, when a superior officer verbally warns the employee committing the offense, he expresses that he does not approve of his behavior. For example, employee sleeping during working hours or found smoking in the workplace. Okay? So, kung masakpan sa manager nga natulog siya sa working hours, ang samahin mo on sa manager. Okay? So, ipatawag niya to sa office, magstorya sila. Okay? So, warning na siya. If himuon pa na siya, then Another punishment will happen na. Diba? Kaya mo siya namin sa warning. Okay? The second one is the written reprimand. So, in here, it would be that the manager will write up the warnings and mails and send it to the employee. Okay? And then, the manager will request to the, <clears throat> to the concerned employee kung saan yung explanation. And also, the manager will give a copy to the HR department. Okay, so, kung sa may uh, explanation sa usa ka employee, bahin sa iyahang lapses or gihimo nga dili maayo sa iya, during sa iyahang working hours, so kay ba ang HR department, ana sila ang magunit sa mga copy. Okay, the third one is punitive suspension. So, it, it is awarded for minor offense. It may be extended for a few days. So, ang employee, dili siya mga kuhag mga allowances during sa ihang suspension period. Okay? Allowances or even ang ilang mga rewards. Then, fourth one is the loss of privilege. So, some of the privilege like assigning interesting work, a shift, preferences, mga leave. So, it may be withdrawn from uh, for a given period of time. Okay? So, instead of na siya one week na leave, kung niya kayo nakahimu man na siya sala, so, get withdraw siya. Okay? So, dili na ka makalive. I-assign pa yung sa night shift, which is dili kaganahan. Okay? So, man na siya usa sa mga minor yung mga punishment. And then, the next one is the fines. Okay? So, a deduction may be made from the pay to certain offenses like mga damages of goods, mga machines or property of the company or loss of money he has to account for. Okay? So, for example, um, during sa imuhang shift na wadaan ka 1,500. Let's just say, on five lang kay Merhag. Kaso-kaso naman tong dag ko. So, itagaan kay Chan sa man manager but, ang nawa nga kwarta is i-deduct sa'yo mong sundo. Okay? So, muna siya example sa fines. And the last one is the transfer. So, an employee may be transferred to a far-off place or to different departments for the offense committed. Okay? So, usually awarded by the companies or institution operating with a network or branches. Okay, so parehaan ng mga police, di ba? Kung makasa sila, so ato sila sa Marawi ilabog, di ba? So mao siya sa same gihapon na siya sa mga hotel. Like, for example, um, in Biscay, taas ta, dili na ka mang limbi sa room, um, dili na ka mo ma, more on, more on, kuhaan na lang ka, um, more on, uh, distributing na lang ka sa mga information, mag maghatag na lang ka o mga, ang um, direction sa anak nila, pero kay nakasa ka, so gibali ka as a house helper. Okay? So, ka ng mga ingana. So, that is an example of the minor punishment. Now, let's proceed to the major punishment. So, major punishment includes pay cut. Okay? So, bugat na kayo ang mga sala aning, aning, aning nila, aning mga employee. Okay? Um, Dili lang kay kausa, kadoha, katulog at many times na nila naghimo. So, for example, is, um, for example, of pay cut, like cutting employees pay for offenses uh, relating to damage or loss of the property. Okay, so muna to siya kung yung ilas sa ilahang swildo and then, like for example, nakabuak siya and then 50,000 uh, 50, ang worth. Okay? So, instead nga pahawaon ka sa company, kipatrabaho lang ka para mabayaran to siya yung imuhang nabuak like niya. Within that 
na po na siya yung duration sa time nga okay, 50,000 yung deduct sa imong sweldo. And then, if ma-end na ang, if ma mabayaran na ito ni mong 50,000 nga imuhang damage, pawaon na po nga sa company. Okay? Okay nga na. Muna siya yung example sa pay cut. And the second one is detention. So, if the employee is proved himself to be unfit for the present job, then he is downgraded to a lower job, carrying lower pay and responsibility. Okay? So, serious implication po na siya sa employee's moral and motivation. And the third one is suspension of the pending injury. So, his regular wages are withheld during the period of time. This suspension may extend for a longer period, say several months till the inquiry is completed. Uh, employees get subsistence allowance during the suspension period. So, taas-taas na ang ihatag na suspension na ani na punishment. The fourth one is discharge. So, it is awarded for the grave, gravest offense involving integrity, moral, and turpitude, etc. There is a stigma attached to dismissal and he may find it difficult to get employment elsewhere. Okay, so, mahawa na rin siya sa trabaho. So, mawala rin siya nga time kung bugat ka ayaw gid ang iyong nakasala. Like, for example, nanguha rin na siya ang kwarta sa company, nga million-million na, of course, ma-discharge na siya. And then, ma-release po ang company o mga negative comments regarding ni mo. And through that, ulit sa doon, pangit ang trabaho ang employee. Okay? So, mawala siya. Major punishment. Okay? So, that ends with our discussions. I hope you understand kung unsa ka importante ang human resource department. Okay? Hey, dali man yun mag-base. Ang, ang success sa company, dali yun mag-base. Kung unsa, yung sa nila pagda, ang inahang mga tao. Okay? Hey, kung wala yung mga ikon, then ang company yung mga taxi, di ba? Kasi may mga trabaho para nila. Kasi may bukas na magtrabaho ang uh, certain na task. Hindi mo nagpaya sa owner. Hindi mo nagpaya sa manager. Okay? So, of course, um, employee, naan sila yung mga certain na rights, na as an employer, you have to limit yourself. Okay? Bow, both of you, both of the employer and the employee will know kung saan mga limitations. Okay? Both of you has the right do bisag do kay bisag kay baw ka nga trabahan pina siya nimo dili siya nimo dog do ubon kung unsa ang iyang job description kana lang yung ipatrabaho di ba okay so mo na siya like for example in the hotel in the hostel i mean nag work man gyud ko sa hostel no but limited man lang yun ang mga employee dito okay so Ang ako, job description dito is a friend that's in charge. But at the same time, nami clerical works. Needed magid na siya ang clerical works so that mo work or makalihok ang, ang, ang hostel. We need to submit mga financial reports. We need to submit mga kanang purchase request, mga ayana. So that nami musod ng mga um, stocks or inventory sa hotel. So since wala man ni existing a clerk sa hostel, so, kami mga front desk in charge ang mga himo, Ana. Even sa registration form, kami ang print, Ana, and other clerical works. Okay. But, bisan o, dilit na siya part sa among trabaho, gihimo na siya na mo, so that more work gihapon ang hostel. Na agihapon, um, tawag ano yung kanabitaw, process, okay? Matuman gihapon ang process sa post. Okay? Since limit na naman yun ang mga tao, di liman po may maka, makabuot mo request na since hostel is an income generating project. Okay? So, kung pila ang income sa hostel, diapod magi ka ng swildo, tanang expenses. So, if mukhara pa ang daghan ng mga employee just to cover up sa mga work, sa, sa ubang mga trabaho, so, mas mo gamay ang swildo, mas mo gamay ang income. Okay? So, pag-depende na siya kung unsa ang situation sa unsa ka company, pag-depende na siya kung what kind of what kind of business na siya. 
Okay. So, mo lang to siya. So, again, yung mga resource, yung huna-huna ko lang yun, yung mga resource is more on on the benefit of the employee. Okay, they are responsible for recruiting, so who are those qualified applicants, and then selecting through background checking sa mga papeles na ilang ihatag, um, orientation, the background of the company, kung saan mga benefits, mga compensation, and then training. Okay? So, that would be all for this discussion class. And thank you everyone, though wala kaayo sa face-to-face class, but still like keep up with those sa inyo ang mga activity and assignment. Okay? Since naapamata enough time, o sa ang final exam, kaya ang final exam possibly ba mga first week of July, I will give you time to answer or to pass mga assignments, to to take the quizzes sa mga module quiz. I will just give you uh, a schedule for that one. Di ba na siya po yung nun good kay syempre, naman na siya um, a lot of time. Okay? So, thank you everyone and God bless. Okay?